Here I have a very small amplified antenna for VLF and HF frequencies. This is the PA0RDT Mini Whip. Now this is the power supply that goes in the shack to supply uh, power along the coax cable up to the amplified antenna. And the other unit contains the antenna and amplifier. Now when I first got this, it was winter time, so I put it in the attic. That is not recommended. Later I got it out, outdoors here, put it up in this tree. I wanted to get it away from noise sources. It did not work well in the attic at all, too close to the noise sources in the house. So now I have it out away from my other transmitting antennas, and it's not all that high, but it's just away from noise sources that makes all the difference in the world. If you do a little research on mini whip antennas, you can build your own, or there are plenty of uh, opportunities to purchase one online that's already built by different manufacturers. Now I chose to uh, route the coax across the roof line like this here. I would have liked to put it up higher off the side of my tower there, but uh, I have a lot of transmitting antennas. I didn't want to burn out the front end on this amplified antenna, so I kept it at a distance. Now I'm going to compare this antenna with my 80 meter dipole which hangs off of the top of that tower. The main reason I purchased this antenna is for use below 500 kilohertz. Uh, I use it uh, for whisper mode on 630 meters. It's all about signal to noise ratio on uh, these frequencies. My 80 meter dipole just was not uh, working very well down here, not very efficient. I did a video on the whisper mode uh, previously, so you can check that out. I'll leave some links in the description. For now, we're going to check out the uh, comparisons here of antennas. Antenna 1 is my 80 meter dipole. Antenna 2 is the small amplified mini whip. This is WWVB, the time signal that sets your atomic clocks at 60 kilohertz. I'm on 59 kilohertz due to I'm um, in upper sideband mode. I'm going to leave the receiver just in that mode so it stays constant and slowly tune up in frequency here and just keep switching antennas. There are thunderstorms moving into the area, so there is static crashes. On this band, it's all about signal to noise ratio. So sometimes the larger antenna isn't always better. So an 80 meter antenna is not very efficient on this band, as you can tell. A small amplified antenna works much better. We're now moving up into the range of the GPS correction transmitters here. And now what you hear are CW beacons. These are non-directional beacons located at uh, airports uh, within a few hundred miles of my location. There's a lot of signals, so I'm moving along kind of quickly here. And this is some nav techs for ships at sea. It looks like I better shut her down here. Those storms are getting closer to my location. Maybe in the next video I will uh, see how that mini whip works on the HF bands as compared to my off-center fed 80 meter dipole. Thanks and 73 WD0AKX.